What is up you guys and welcome back to my channel. So I know the light is going to be annoying. Hi. Um, but this is what we're working with today. So I'm sorry if the trees outside are reflecting light on my face. I'm um, also ignore the fact that my hands are literally so dark compared to my face and my neck. I just self tan last night and I don't self tan my face because acne. For some reason my one hand looks so dark. Oh my god. Um, I swear it doesn't look like that in person. I don't know what is going on, but what So today's video, if you didn't already guess, is my skincare routine. This video is so, so, so highly requested. So let me just give a little backstory on my skin before we get into like my actual routine. I struggled with acne since I was like 13. Um, right now I'm 22, <laughs> so basically almost 10 years I've had acne. It's been a long struggle. I've never gone on Accutane or anything like that, so I've found remedies naturally. I tried a while back, I did like no sugar, no dairy, no gluten, like that whole thing. And I did that for about a year and a half when I was in high school. It did help my skin a little bit, but not that much to be honest. And then I went on birth control when I was in grade 12, so I was 17. Um, and I went on birth control for the next like three or three years. That pill made me crazy. Um, it made me have mood swings, it made me insane, but it did give me clear skin. <laughs> so for the first time in my life, I had clear skin. And then I went off birth control because my mental health was just terrible. Um, I did not feel like myself. I was constantly moody and angry and upset and emotional and I just didn't feel like myself. Um, so I went off the pill and all of a sudden I felt like myself again. It was crazy. <laughs> and then um, I got acne again and it sucked and my skin was absolutely horrific. I'll insert some pictures here on the screen so you guys can see, but I, mean, I had severe acne up until like honestly three or four months ago, all of a sudden my skin just completely started clearing up and I'm just focusing on targeting breakouts and clearing up all the scarring I have. So if you can see, I have a decent amount of scarring. It's actually faded a lot compared to like what it was, honestly, even like a month ago. I'm so sorry about this light. Is this so annoying? I'm sorry if this is so annoying. It might be so annoying. Let me try and move. Okay, there we go. I have to keep moving over. Um, okay, sorry about that. So my skin is much better. So I just wanted to share what I've been doing. I honestly feel like stress was a huge factor for my acne, like hormones, because as soon as I finished college, uh, my acne cleared up a lot, <laughs> like a lot, a lot. And then I also added a few products into my skincare routine that I feel like changed the game for me. So I wanted to share my full skincare routine with you guys today. So I hope you guys enjoy. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below and I'll have all the uh, products linked down in the description below. This is not sponsored at all. I bought all these things with my own money and a lot of these things I've been using for years. So. Let's get into it. I hope you guys enjoy and yeah. So I already, like this is a fresh face. I just washed it. So this is the cleanser I use. So I have two cleansers. So this one is my favorite one because I use it to take off my makeup. So at night or after I'm home and I'm gonna take off my makeup, I double cleanse. So I use the cleanser twice. So once to take off my makeup and then once to actually clean my face. Um, so this is the cleanser I use. It is the SkinCeuticals Simply Clean Cleanser. Um, as you can tell, I love it because I'm almost out. Right, as you'll see with a lot of these products, I'm like almost out, but I have backups in my room, thank God, because right now we're not supposed to leave the house and the spa that I normally get this at is closed. So thank God I have a backup because <laughs> um, I would die without this cleanser. So this I've been using for almost two years i think now and i love it it's amazing it just melts all your makeup off and it leaves your face feeling so fresh and clean so usually i take use that to take my makeup off and then in the morning i'll just use this on its own um and then in the evening after i take off my makeup when i do my double cleanse i also use this lha cleanser from skin Suicles. um again it's almost out there's only a tiny bit left in the bottom but this lasts so long. Like I've had this for I think like eight months now and I'm just getting to the bottom of it because you barely need any of it when you're using it. So I just use this to cleanse my face. This I find once I added this into my routine like eight months ago, this is my first bottle. 
um, it just changed the game. My skin, I just felt like it was like brighter and I felt like it was clear. I swear this clears up my breakouts, like I'm not even gonna lie. Because it also exfoliates your skin at the same time. I also find if I'm not exfoliating enough, I break out more because my skin, like dirt and stuff is getting trapped under my skin. So I have to make sure I exfoliate quite frequently. So this cleanser changed the game for me. I love this so much, but I only use it in the evening. I only use it once a day. Um, and then for exfoliant, I usually use this. It's from GM Colin. I got it at a spa, so I'm not sure if you can get it online. I'm sure you can. Um, it's their active exfoliant powder. So I'm pretty sure there's another brand that does something similar to this, but basically it's like this powder. I don't know if you can see that. It looks like this and you just add water and I made a mess. Woo, love that for me. <laughs> Get a, your face a little bit damp, and then I put a little bit on my fingers um, while my hands are still damp, and then I scrub it into my face. I usually use that when I'm in the shower because it does get a little bit messy, but it's really, it's gentle enough to use it like every other day. Like, I use that every other day, and it works amazing for me, and I notice a lot of changes in my skin with using that, but just make sure you're using an exfoliant that's gentle on your skin. You never want to use something that's got super rough abrasive because you can actually make little tiny cuts in your skin, which can open the, your pores to dirt and get clogged and then it can create more breakouts. So don't do that. <laughs> um, so next step in my skincare routine I'm going to start doing now because I already cleansed my face. Um, so the next thing I use is this. So uh, I've been using this guy for years. This is amazing. It is so cheap and it's so, so, so good. So I think it's like $13. It's so cheap. Um, it lasts a really long time. It's just a witch hazel toner. I like the rose one. They have a bunch. They have like cucumber and lavender and this and that. Um, my naturopath actually told me to use this for my skin and it literally is the best thing ever. So I use this every morning. I don't tone twice a day. I just tone in the morning. So I just put it on a little cotton pad just like that. And then I just swipe it all over my face like this. Oh my, God, my hands look crazy, you guys. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I swear they don't look like that in person. <laughs> it actually looks ridiculous. I'm crying. Anyways, so I just go like this. And then I actually, I also do behind my ears. I don't know if that is so weird, but clean behind your ears, okay? Like I just use what's left on my toner. Don't come for me if that is so weird. So then I let that dry a little bit. And then the next step that I use is this guy. So this is from The Ordinary. It's their Hyaluronic Acid Plus B5. I think this is my second or third bottle. I love this stuff. Um, it's super cheap. And honestly, I'd say it's a dupe for the SkinCeuticals one because it honestly looks and feels the exact same and does the exact same thing to my skin. So I just put a little bit on my cheeks. Do I look kind of crazy? Yes. And then I just rub it in. I cannot get over my hands, you guys. I'm so sorry you have to look at that. It's so ridiculous. <laughs> oh, the truth comes out at how pale I actually am. And then my hands, I don't know why they look orange. I swear they're not orange right now. I swear to God. Anyways, I need to stop ranting my hands, but every time I like look up, I can see this orange in the Mio Finder. I'm like, <laughs> okay, so that dries super fast. So um, I just find that that really helps with moisture. Um, I have pretty dry skin, even though it is combo. Where my acne scars are, because I am using retinol, which I'll show you in a second, it makes my skin really dry and flaky. So that has helped so much with like the flakiness and dry. Um, and then the next thing I use is the Ordinary's, what was it called? Natural Moisturizing Factors plus HA. Uh, sorry, this bottle looks disgusting. Um, so this is the moisturizer I use. Um, I sometimes use this other one from GM Colin, but I'm out right now, so I'm just waiting to get more. But it's the same as God Exfoliating Powder. It's meant for acne. Um, and I really like that one too, but this one I find is more moisturizing, which honestly right now I need because my skin is so dry. She's flaky. <laughs> and I can get to me because of the retinol. So I just apply that all over my face and then up my neck, just the excess. Normally, okay, so that's it for in the morning. Super basic, super easy. But in the evening is when I add a couple extra steps. So in the evening, I use a face mask 
spot treatment and retinol. So the spot treatment I used, which I literally swear to God has changed the entire game for me. This thing is the best purchase I ever made in my entire life and I will never not purchase it again. I even have a backup in my room because I was scared to run out. That's how bad it is. And I still have a lot left in the spot. I was just worried because I swear this is what changed my breakout game. So I used to break out so bad all on my cheeks and my chin and then even into my forehead. Um, honestly sometimes around my eyebrows and stuff too it suck um but my breakouts are like these cystic breakouts like they're not just like oh little white head like they hurt it's like painful acne put a little bit of this this is the mario badescu dry lotion i put a little bit of this on a q-tip dot it on my zits and i swear to god like those underground painful zits would disappear in like three days and i just don't touch them and then they're gone and then the scarring is not as aggressive like I swear it's the best thing ever. So Mario Badescu dry lotion, get it. If you have acne, trust me, it's the best thing ever. Okay, just get it. <laughs> I slept on that product so much. I heard so many people rave about it and I was like, eh, sure, whatever. Like, I don't think so. And then I finally tried it and I was like, why did I do this before? Anyway, so I use that after my moisturizer and like my retinol and everything else. Um, so basically the last step of my skincare routine in the evening is to put, oh, hi, wrong product, <laughs> is to put the dry lotion on my face. Um, I just put it on my acne, don't like put it on your face, just put it on your spot. So the other product that I've talked about a little bit is the retinol. As you can tell, I just started using it. You need barely any when you use it. This is the SkinCeuticals one. Mm, there we go. Um, this is the SkinCeuticals one is 0.5. So in my skincare routine, when you would add this in, is right after cleansing your face, I put it on my face and I let it sit for 30 minutes before I add anything else onto my face. And then I continue with my skincare routine as normal. And with this product, it's quite strong. So I make sure to not have my face in the sun because it can cause, da cause damage, I can't speak. So just make sure to use this in the winter months into the spring. Um, I started using this, I think a month ago. Um, I probably should have started earlier in the winter, but I didn't get on the retinal game and I'm kind of sad about it, but I don't really put my face in the sun anyways. And I always have SPF on my skin. So it's my, found my foundation has SPF 50 in it. So this, this face never sees the sun, clearly. So the next product is this eye cream. So I just started using eye cream. Before I was like, I don't need eye cream, what the heck? And now I'm like addicted because I get super dark circles. You should have seen them before. Like they're like, I'm also really anemic. Um, and my iron's really low and I also have a blood disorder. So the underneath of my eyes and around my eyes gets like dark, dark red, brown, purple color. It's so ugly. <laughs> and I swear this little product has changed my life. Like this is the, oh, hi. Am I even showing you the label? No. Um, this is the Ule, Her Ule Herrickson. Cannot speak. Don't know how to say it. Ule Herrickson. You know what I'm talking about. You've probably seen this product before. This is the ba banana bright eye cream. Cannot speak today, you guys. I'm so sorry. So I just dab a little tin on my ring finger and I go like this and I go like this and that is it. And I've only been using it for like three weeks. And as you can see, cause I have nothing on my eyes right now. It is a little bit red because that's just how it is. Um, but this is way less like it used to come all the way down to here. And it was so, so red on the side corner of my eyes. And it honestly made my eyes have this like yellowish tinge to them. Not a fan. So clearing up the bottom of my eye has helped so much with the clarity of my skin as well. So love that product. Um, last product in my skincare routine is face mask. So my sister introduced me to this face mask and it's changed my life. It is amazing. And you can get it on Amazon for like 20 bucks. Hell yes. And it lasts so long because it's a clay mask. So this is the clay mask that I use, Indian Healing Clay Mask. So what you do is you take like a little bit of the mask and you put it in a bowl and then you add either water or apple cider vinegar. I tend to use water because apple cider vinegar just burns on my skin and this mask is quite intense already. It literally makes your skin pulse and it's like the weirdest feeling at first. The first time you put it on, you're like, oh my God, I hate this. Get it off my face right now. Um, it honestly, instantly like, your face looks a tiny bit red, you have to be careful taking it off, you have to pat it. Um, but this face mask, I swear, just sucks everything out of my pores. 
it leaves everything smooth. Um, my scars usually look kind of crazy um, after because they look quite red because the blood, I guess, has been brought to the surface. I don't even know how this guy works, but it's amazing. So I use it about twice a week. You can use it every other day. I think it says on the bottle, but I just find that it's a process and I'm kind of lazy. So I just do it twice a week and that's perfect for me and it's cleared my skin quite a bit. So yeah, that is my skincare routine. Okay, so now that we're done with skincare, let's get into makeup. My makeup routine has also been highly requested. I do the same thing every day. I'm so boring. So my makeup is super boring, but you guys want to see it. So here we are. Um, never thought someone would be asking me to do my makeup. So I just have to say I am not good at makeup. I do not know what I'm doing. I just have to say that before we get into this so people don't judge me. <laughs> Anyways, um, so the first step of my makeup routine is foundation. So these are the two things that I use. Um, this guy has been everywhere with me. She travels everywhere with me. So the packaging looks kind of trashy, but I'll put a picture on the screen of the product so you can see what it actually looks like because this looks so bad. Um, so this is the It Cosmetics <laughs> CC Cream. Uh, if you can even tell with that label though. <laughs> um, this shade is medium. I also have a darker one for when I'm super tan. Um, believe it or not, I'm not super tan right now. Um, this is just the lighting, I swear to God, I'm not that dark. Um, anyway, so this is one I use like daily. Um, and then in the summer, if I'm like somewhere, like I was just in LA, I brought my darker one because I had a little bit of an actual tan in addition to my fake tan. It's a good time. So this is what I always use first. Just do one pump. So I just pump once onto my finger and then I just dot it all over my face. And then I already pre-soaked my beauty blender. Um, so I just blend it out. Always blend down your neck, please. No one wants a like mask of makeup. So I've been using this BB cream for, or CC cream, whatever you want to call it, for like two years now. It's one of the only foundations besides, I have a couple Smashbox ones that are fine, but it's the only one that doesn't break me out. And it's like not cakey and it's moisturizing and it's got SPF. Like I literally have nothing bad to say about this product, I'm using it forever. I've gone through so many bottles. <laughs> so usually one pump is good enough because I use another foundation over like my areas where my scarring is a little bit worse. So now that I can't even tell, I don't have a mirror. So like, sorry if I'm looking in the viewfinder, but like I don't have a mirror in front of me right now. So I think that's blended. I'm hoping it's blended. Um, so the next thing I use is the Smashbox, I think it's called Photo Finish. Smashbox Studio Skin um, in the shade, I think it's 2.3, yes. Um, so this has lasted a long time. Um, I've had this for a while and I love it, but I kind of use it, like, I only use this much. That's it. That's all I need. <laughs> um, so I kind of use it as a concealer because I don't really use concealer, so I just kind of put it under my eyes and then over where my scarring is. So, just put that in. Okay, so that's it for foundation. Um, now I use, so I use a powder foundation to set my face just because this one agrees with my skin really well. I'm almost out of it. It's the Press Base from Glow Cosmetics. It's mineral makeup. So this kind of stuff you can literally sleep in and it doesn't matter. Not that I sleep with my makeup on because I don't think I've ever done that in my entire life because I'm a girl that struggles with acne. So anything that I can avoid, that would be amazing. So I'm almost out, like it's really bad. So I just put that all over my face. You don't need a lot. I just need enough to like set my face down. And then, see? Now my skin is matching a little bit nicer. So that's nice. And then under my eyes, I, I tend to crease a little bit. So I use the Laura Mercier setting powder. 
I slept on this product for a long time because I was like skeptical because I'm not like super into makeup. So obviously like I was like, why do I need a really expensive setting powder? But I tried it for under my eyes and I'm obsessed. So I just use this little brush, it's from Sephora. I'm pretty sure it's, yeah, it's a small contour brush, but I use it for under my eyes because I'm clearly a makeup guru, you guys. <laughs> so I just put that under my eyes. Sometimes I put it over the top too because I crease, you know. And then I just blow it down my nose and then a tiny, the excess around my smile lines and a little bit on my forehead. That's it. Clearly an expert. <laughs> um, so the next step in my makeup routine that I literally do every day is bronzer. So this bronzer I've had for a while <laughs> and I love it. I'm gonna buy a new one, um, but I still have a little bit left, so I'm still using it. But it's the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. Um, I don't know what it is. I got this product a while ago because it was on sale and I am never going back to anything else. So I just take a little bit on my brush and then I put on my cheeks and I go up into my forehead. And then I just, I just do one side at a time. I go like that rather than doing this. I don't know. I just find it works a bit better. Because I look ridiculous trying to talk while I'm doing that. And then I blend it into my jawline. Clearly, it's kind of like contour. I use bronzer as contour. Like, let's be honest. <laughs> Clearly. I'm a professional. So I go up my forehead. It's kind of like that three that Kim Kardashian has talked about a million times. Except they like actually know what they're doing and I do not, so. <laughs> and then I just put the excess on the sides of my nose. Um, I don't nose contour or anything like that, but I like to put a little bit on my nose so it's not like my nose is pale. <laughs> um, I'm just adding a little bit more on my forehead basically. Tell them, like, look at when you find her, like, it's blended. I don't know. Um, so, the next step in my makeup routine is blush. Okay, I need to talk about blush for a second because me and blush, we didn't have a relationship for a long time. Me and her, we didn't get along. I always thought it looked like kind of like a clown. It was probably because when I was a figure skater, we wore way, so much blush, like show blush. So, like, when you're far away on the ice, then you can see your blush, like, from like across the ring. So disgusting. Anyway, so I didn't use blush for the longest time and then I got this blush from Glow Cosmetics, that same brand that I had my press base powder from and I love it. It is the perfect shade. It's got a little bit of shimmer. It is so nice. So it's the Glow Cosmetics blush in the shade Soleil. Um, this is what the blush looks like. It's stunning. I love it so much. I use it every day. So I just put a little bit, tap off the excess because like we don't want too much blush. And then I just put it on my cheekbones. I wanted to try like, I see a lot of people using the like, um, the cream blushes. I feel like that's a vibe. I put a little bit on my forehead and then I also do my nose. I just like the sun kiss look, you know? So we gotta put it all over the place, not just on the cheeks. Um, so I just do that and that is it for that guy. So, I don't do highlight until after my mascara. I don't know why. I just have this weird routine where I do my eyelashes and stuff first. And while that dries, I add like highlight and stuff. I'm weird, okay? The first thing I do is I curl my eyelashes. Honestly, most of the time I don't curl my eyelashes unless I'm not wearing makeup. So this looks so scary, but I just go like this for like two seconds. My eyelashes already are kind of curled a little bit, <laughs> maybe. Um, so I don't curl them too much. Um, and then, I know this is what everyone's been waiting for because I always get questions on my eyelashes. So the mascara I use is from the drugstore. Yes, it is from the drugstore and it is amazing. It is the Lash Paradise from L'Oreal. Um, this is the best mascara of all time. I used to only use the L'Oreal Telescopic and then they came out with this, this guy. I bought so many of these because I literally use them every day. These are the best, I'm obsessed. Okay, so I moved my mirror over here so I could do my mascara because I can do it in the viewfinder. I'm not that professional. 
Um, so I'm just gonna do it in the mirror. Um, but basically I apply one coat and then I switch sides. I do the other side and then I go back and forth like three times and then that's it. And then I wait for it to dry and then I clean up um, around the edges because I'm messy. I'm so messy with my mascara, it's insane. So I'm just gonna do that. on I don't really wear lipstick sometimes I wear lipstick but not usually I'm doing my everyday makeup routine so I usually just wipe off the foundation that I got on my lips and then I just put chapstick on because I am boring <laughs> but this is the highlight I use it's falling apart um, it's the wet n wild um, one you've probably seen this a million times from other people I love this one I picked it up when I was in Oregon because obviously I'm from Canada and we don't I don't think we have wet n wild in Canada to be honest um, so I just take this little brush and then I just pop it in my inner corner Just like this super basic and then I put a tiny bit on my nose I put a little bit on my brow bone And then I take this fatter brush. This is an elf brush. Both of those are elf brushes by the way And then I just put a little bit on my cheekbones And an extra little bit on my nose tiny bit there and that is it. <laughs> that is my makeup routine that I do every single day. It doesn't really change. I don't wear eyeliner or anything like that. This is it. This is what you get. <laughs> uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in the next one.